Now this exercise has to do with the action script. Again, if you're in my flash class, it's not part of your grade, but it might help to reinforce your understanding of how some of these scripts work. If I look at my main timeline, I've got three frames, home, bounce, and fly. What I've done is I've renamed these buttons. Instead of BTN home, I've got home, bounce, and fly. I've named the buttons the same as the frame labels. In my actions layer, let's go back to the timeline, select this, and I think what I'm going to do is click the pin so that I can click on other things without losing the frame. What I've done is I've changed my event listeners, home, bounce, and fly. Instead of having three different functions that go to three different places, I have one called go to frame, and you'll notice that all three buttons have a listener that calls go to frame. I've added a trace function, <coughs> which is just something we use for testing. <coughs> it puts stuff in the output window. And you remember that the way this will work is the home button has a listener attached that listens for a click mouse event. If it hears a click, it calls go to frame, which is this function, and it passes to it this event, which we're calling EVT, and we haven't done anything with that event object yet, but it does contain useful information. What I want to do is trace event.target, which is the whatever object that was clicked, and the name of that object. So let's test the movie here, and if I click bounce, or fly, or home, what's happening is it's passing the event and of course that those buttons are off the screen here we go home bounce fly let's close that up what i can do is pass the name of the button that was a click that was clicked instead of trace i'm going to say go to and stop event.target.name and because my buttons and my frames have the same labels and names i should be able to go to my bouncing ball my flying object, and back. Let me close that up. So to review the code, what we've done is instead of having a go home function, a go bounce function, and a go fly function, by simply reading the information we need out of the event, I've got three buttons wired up. My whole thing is one, two, three, four, five lines of code, not including a brace and a comment. So action script can help you get things done very efficiently, especially if you had a lot more buttons and a lot more objects to wire up.